Welcome to Sunday Street, the Poppin' Ass Podcast. It's the coolest host on the Coast Barrio. And y'all know the motto here, we're gonna get our shit together. We're gonna have a good time doing it. Look at my homegirl. It's your girl, Drina, the, the co-host with the most information. <laughs> the host of Drina Finds Out. Um, and this week we have the privilege of sitting down with Maury, Maury's Ben from Nappy Beards. What's up, brother? What's going on, man? All right, man. How you doing? Good. Well, happy to have you. Happy to have you be here. Your, um, your business, how long have you been? Um, I just started my website like two and a half weeks ago. So that's when I started. I see you out here uh, promoting your stuff with you got your full beard out. Yeah, man, I can't, I can't promote something if I ain't got it. <laughs> you perfect man for the job. My little, my little beard is struggling. Hey, I got you, though. I got you. Was, my, that, was that the inspiration? People, you know, people that struggle? Nah, people kept asking me, pretty much people kept asking me how I got my beard. And I really, at first, I wasn't doing stuff to it. I just let it be. And then I started messing with it, started putting oil in, in my shines, and then it started growing. Looking good. It's long, boy. Got that Jane Carter yeah. going on. <laughs> I cut it every week. I promise. I cut it down every week. I think it's yeah. dope that your your family, um, y'all all involved in some type of hair and grooming. I think it's pretty dope. Even the kid. Yeah, Chrissy. She pushed it, man. I I really wasn't gonna do it. She just kept pushing. You got a beard. Do got something hair. And then she she went on with the kids and. We got this just kitten uh, dot com. Got uh, hair fetish dolls. We got nappy beards. So they all um, separate sites? Yeah, they all separate sites. But you can link them. Ah. Uh, you can link them. Oh, we don't have to. No, Chris, it on. I see you. Chris can die. Don't let that be by yourself. Amen. So you prepare for this upcoming holiday season? Yeah, we I got a couple orders coming in. I got some new oils and some um, serum coming in that I didn't have before. So the serum, I think it's going to take off. You see them? Yeah, I ain't got the serum yet. You know what you got right there? I got the beard oil right here. Soften your beard. I got the beard wash. Keep it clean. I got the bomb. It smell good. It smells, it smells, it smells. No, I got it. Don't get yourself. Oh, that does smell good. Don't get yourself, man. Don't get yourself, man. Yeah. Beard brush. Yeah. Got the beard brush, man. That's for the struggling beard. Oh, my beard is struggling. <laughs> my job made me cut mine off most of the time. Yeah. Anyway. And then when you start growing a little bit, you put the comb on it. Got it. Got the uh, scrub, it's for ingrown hairs, clean your, your skin under there. Yeah, that'd be my what I need. Yeah, and uh, I got the stuff, I got like four different kinds of stuff. It's the dark spots, agony, and all different kinds of stuff. Uh, That's dope, oh, man. I love products and putting them out. Are you awesome, gonna, man. You gonna have a whole, like, can you get the whole kit on Yeah, well, I got a whole kit. I got like three different kits. I got just the, the, just the beer starter kit right here. And then I got the advanced starter kit right here. Then I got a, um, another kit come with shaving cream and um, Shaving gel and they come with um shaving gel and the the aftershave. Gotcha. After Pretty sure that smells good too. Yeah, it's for people with bald heads and you ain't got no you got bald head in the beard, you can go on shave. Hey, I get my hair braided. Yeah. <laughs> Do you um have you like linked up with any barbers to see if they'll start doing this like exclusively? I talked to a few of them, but I gotta figure out how to how to get it in there and Make my money and let them make money too. Yeah. Can't take no for an answer. Right. Yeah. 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 Got to figure out how to link it up. Right. It gotta be dope, man. Yeah. What about the kids? They sell products too. But they be yeah, they got uh, they got kids hair products, uh, wild hair shampoo, conditioner. Just uh, they got a lot of stuff. I can't even. I had to look on the site. Out. I had to look on the site to name it. We gonna look. Yeah, they gotta look on the site and um. It's just a whole bunch of everything your kids need for hair care. Like, your wife got the wigs jumping. Man, jumping. The whole coast. Like, <laughs> the whole coast. I can't go nowhere with that. I, I, she got so much stuff, I, I go around looking at wigs now. Are you a representative? Yeah, I got. I go around. Half inch dolls. I, come <laughs> <laughs> I see your little, see your, your thing right there. I got some spray for you. I gotta get it. You the plug. <laughs> gotta get it. That's dope, man. That's push dope. It out. So since you, I know you said your website started two weeks ago. What have you seen like a big push in supporters? Man, honestly, like the coast, they they there, but the, my most my biggest supporters come from Valley. I went to Valley, mm -hmm. and they seem like most of my artists coming from them, and that's that was big right there. Like it's love up there. Those relationships you feel go along. Yeah, way. man, up there it's just like every 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 artist I see, I be like, man, they 
this and then I look at it, I be like, dang, they went to the Valley with me. Yeah. Valley been they been coming hard, man. That's good. They been coming hard. Do y'all have, are you set up at any of the pop up shops? I know they got a few coming up for the No, I might get in with uh with my wife. I might get in with her. Might fight about it a little bit, but um Right. <laughs> yeah. I might get in with her uh, husband that uh, Black Friday after Thanksgiving. So Where's it gonna be? At uh, Donald's Night of Jam and Biloxi. Okay, yeah, that's right. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah, they have quite a few on the coast. I think that in the, la- the last couple of years, there's been a big push to support like black um, businesses here on the coast. Right. Um, I think, you know, nation, of course, here we get everything last. We tell them paint like a last for everything, but I think that there's been I know even for myself like the last few years, um, when I think about the gifts I'm gonna give people, like I try to go out and seek a black owned business to get it from. So I just love yeah. yeah. I know a few people that struggle shout with the beers. Oh yeah, that's, yeah, that's <laughs> oh, yeah. shout out to love. I probably got every little shirt out here. I was, gotta support each other. The crazy thing is I was scrolling, my kids got me into watching these TikTok videos. And a dude had a lust shirt on. I was like, is this a lust hat he got on? I don't know where he was from, but he didn't have an accent from him. But yeah, I thought that was so, pretty dope. Yeah, TikTok. <laughs> I thought they were banned TikTok. No, nah, they made, um, I think a company. So the issue was the company that owned it was from, uh, I don't know if it was from Russia or it was one of, some country that our old president <laughs> <laughs> he felt like <laughs> he felt like um, he had an issue with them, but I think a parent company from like America or Canada or something bought yeah, it, exactly. took over it. So. That's all it was about, man. Yeah. yeah. So yeah, um, TikTok. I, I learned so much stuff on TikTok. Like they have read, they have everything on there. I'm still a YouTube page. Yeah, I still like YouTube. I'd be dancing and everything. My kids. <laughs> oh no, I, I, don't, I don't do that, but. Definitely be searching all kinds of stuff on TikTok. It's like one minute and you can learn so much. But yeah. But I'll definitely be getting a, a kit for I know some people with some struggle beer issues. So. Hey, just hit me up. <laughs> just hit me up. I got it. <laughs> yes, it is a good Christmas gift. I'll make it shine and everything. Now's the time. They could be ready. Oh, no shade, there. November. Right. You're in this room with these days. I know I am. Yeah. That's good, though. So I'm not a. um a real sports head follower type person but I yeah. can I can always count on some type of discussion going on on Mari's page. And when you <laughs> man Mari's usually agree on pretty much everything. Yeah, pretty, yeah, like, it's like pretty much everything. Yeah I'm a Kobe head, Mari's a Kobe head. Pretty much uh Who are you for football? 40? I'm a 49ers that's what man. I thought. Nah, that's what that's it. That's what you think? Yeah, yeah, like, 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 we play all the game. Be yeah, no, it's not. <laughs> we, ain't no we ain't got no, we ain't got no quarterback or nothing. It's gonna be yeah, it's gonna be alright. Yeah, everybody go. Yeah, I Saints better, went through it for I better get some. Up. I better get. I took y'all with the points. Yeah, yeah. sometimes you gotta do that. <laughs> <laughs> you go back to win, man. Not yeah. to be a fan. Yeah, I, I definitely think that uh, sports is a. I feel like every episode we have, we talk sports. So. Um, we do. I know you've been in works talking with Shabazz about linking up, Shabazz, yeah. linking up uh, his commentate mm-hmm. uh, with Sunday Street. Yeah. So that'll be exciting. I'm looking forward to it. Yeah, I'll Hopefully be here too. Yeah, I'll be here. Mm-hmm. Who else? Um, Kuhn. Kuhn. Yeah. Uh, yeah. James. Yeah. yeah. James is sports junk. I know a lot of sports heads, man. Right? Yeah. Pat. Yeah, I just yeah. had Pat. Courtney. So it's all for day, my man. <laughs> Yeah. Every time. Another crazy thing is like I feel like the people like we went to Harrison Central, but most of the people we work with have come from Gulfport High. Yeah. <laughs> Pretty much a hill valley going on. Yeah. yeah. It's a coast thing, <laughs> man. Oh yeah, we all grown now. Yeah. We all work towards a similar goal. I want to go to Harrison Central anyway. I want to go to Gulfport High. I want to go to school with gangs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's what I want. I want to go to school with City Kid. Yeah. When I, when I got kicked off the basketball team, I tried to transfer on. I was going to hoop. Yeah. And Coach Jones came and got me out that gym to run track, man. That was it. So it worked out. Yeah. I actually, um, Travis, what's Travis' last name? 
um, from Villa Del Rey. Taylor. I reached out to Travis because Travis does like running, like long distance type running. He running now? Yeah. I, I asked. I reached out to him and asked him like, what would he think about starting a club? Like a runner's club? Yeah. Because if you think about it, like you have a lot of um, African American kids that run track, mm -hmm. but not necessarily cross country. You normally see that, like, uh, in majority. Really? Yeah, stuff like that. So if you could open up that lane as well for those kids to be able to have access to that type of scholarship as well, exactly. like, that'd be mm -hmm. dope. Really? Mm -hmm. Yeah, me and Shabazz actually talked, we just talked about it doing the track club. Yeah, that'd, that'd be, be dope. dope. It would be. That's what we gonna, that's my next thing, man. Well, we can help. We most definitely, um, we'll sure reach out. Yeah. Yeah. And, re like, for, for real, like, Travis is running, like, 10, like, miles a day. Man, I gotta talk to <laughs> I ain't talked to Trav in a while, man. We grew up around, like, down the street from each other. Right. So I gotta, I, I ain't never seen Travis. Yeah, okay, every day. Yeah, that's crazy. Man running 10 miles. I never seen Travis. <laughs> he running, and I'm talking about, he running, like, his mouth like the craziest like I ever yeah, seen. I never, seen. I never knew him to run, and I ran track, so I like a lot of things in track. <laughs> 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 we got several little shots, man. Yeah. That yeah. <laughs> but yeah, so I'm excited um, about your business. I'm excited to see the culture like that you and your wife. I feel like y'all are kind of creating on the coast to have a whole family like business, say, including the kids. Um, your wife was one of the first, like, local businesses around our age that I said you'll be a boy. Yeah. yeah. I thought that was dope. Yeah. Back, back right around the corner. Right. Yeah, yeah. She, she did that. Mm -hmm. She when she thought that was big. When she wants something, she do it. When her mind says she says she gonna do it, she do it. That's I'm, I'm kind of like the other way. Like, I, I, I procrastinate a lot. That's it. I'm gonna tell you, know, um, having that characteristic is good and bad. Yeah. When you do everything to, like, the max. Yeah. Trust me, I know. Yeah, she, um, it don't always work out for the best. Yeah, she probably took a few losses, but she come right back and try something else. Yeah. She come try, Man, the shooter don't stop shooting because they she miss don't. Them. She don't shoot. <laughs> I'm going to get hot to shoot. She a shooter. I do a layup and go back to the other nah, side. I'm shooting. <laughs> if I'm open, I'm shooting. <laughs> Yeah. But man, we so appreciate you coming through, man, spending time on the streets. Man, I appreciate y'all having me. And we man. wish you um, longevity, man, with Nappy Beards. Just kidding. Half Bettis, she been rolling, so man, we ain't worried about it. Like, uh, <laughs> how to catch up, man. Yeah. But it's gonna work out, man. As long as y'all stay together, stay working together, man, it's gonna work out, bro. Can't you want to say, Miss Dream? I don't think so. Say it all, man. <laughs> I appreciate you, bro. I appreciate you, man. No doubt. All right. Cool. What's going on? Let's get into it. Y'all, it's been so much that has just happened in seven days. The world is what? just still crazy. Still 2020. Bro, move fast. Um, it definitely moves fast. Um, rest in peace to Mo3. Yeah, we yeah, another rapper gone. What did you say? Another rapper gone. Yeah, it, it was truly a sad incident. I really didn't really understand it, but I don't I don't know. Um, Boosie got shot. Mr. Untouchable. Shot On his Boosie. birthday. Yep. It was his birthday? Yeah. Trying to tear his ass up. So my question is, Boosie, you have like 12 kids. Why aren't you in the BR with them kids celebrating your birthday? Why are you out and about? His home he was just out there at the, um, what's the, what's the Virgil, whatever they call it. Oh, the candle. Oh, the candle. Like oh, okay. Mm -hmm. I was about to say, I didn't have no funeral that day. Black people do not put other black people in the ground that day. We need a whole week, got to get stuff together. <laughs> but, so he got shot in the leg, but he's still ticking. First they were saying he didn't get shot. Yeah. You saw I, saw he, I saw what they said he was just shot at, 
But then they came back and said that he was shot in the leg. Okay. Yeah, that's what I saw too. So hopefully, I mean, if he didn't get shot, I'm glad. If he got shot in the leg, I'm glad that he's still able to, you know, be here on Earth, set it off. I appreciate that. Yeah. Um, I Anybody did see on with me? Huh? Anybody checked on with me? That, that brings me to my next thing. He, Bootsy tweeted F Trill ENT, and I'm just trying to Saw that. see, like, why? Money. Maybe. Money. I, but when he tweeted, I was like, I thought Bootsy was part of Trill ENT. That's why I think it's all some money. I can believe that. Well, he got his ass towed up, i tell you that. But what was the Boosie thing about the PS5? So Boosie talked about uh, the PS5 dropped this week. I agree with Boosie on this because I don't play no games with nobody. And he said, playing a video game like a junkie will take you off your grind and take too much time away from your grind. Hustles don't let a PS5 have you from the same bag of money for two or three years. Time is money. This ain't the year to be bullshitting on no game. Shout out 2020. <laughs> So, I don't think Boosie is a fan of the PS5. <laughs> I'm so glad my son been acting up and I ain't got to buy that boy no PS5 at Christmas. Bless him. <laughs> so, what is like, does anybody, well, let me tell y'all what I know about the PS5. Michael B. Jordan did an ad. That's on PlayStation. Oh, my God. Fine. I was like, Fine. I could just watch this on loop. This is all I need Fine. to know about it. I like Kill That's Kill Moon to me. I know that he did an ad for it, and then I also know it cost $500. Those are the only things I know. <laughs> that's really not a lot for a game system these days. I know that sounds crazy, but it's not. Everything's expensive. So. Yeah, but I thought like PlayStation, like the last PlayStation was like two ninety nine. So you mean to tell me it went up two hundred dollars? Like what does it do different? Improve. But what? I'm not a gamer. I just so you don't play any video games? I don't play with nothing or nobody but my kids. Do. Okay, and they don't. Well, you already <laughs> said that they was acting up, so you ain't buying no, no PS. I don't know. I'm just talking shit. But I play with the PlayStation and stuff, but. It's more just with my son these days. The last okay. game I played was Sega Genesis. <laughs> Street Fighter. <No. laughs> I did play with the Wii when it first came out. Oh, That's yeah, yeah, the Wii. Wii was dope. You couldn't tell me I want some Rima. That was something serious. But other than that, no, I'm not really into it. But, you know, kudos to everybody that was able to get one. Um. It seems like it's a pretty hot commodity. I did already see a meme where somebody put their significant others in a tub full of water. <laughs> I saw that today, one day. I wish I would've bought one to reset it though. That's real hot. Oh yeah. Yeah. That was hard to get though, so. People was making bank on that. I missed that list. Well. Are, are they gonna do another drop like closer to oh, Christmas yeah. or that's it? Of course. Okay. Gucci versus Jeezy. Now, I know last week I said I was going for Jeezy, but they done got Gucci out, baby. I'm going for Gucci all day. Three to second guess them too. 10 17 Brick Squad all day, baby. You got to. I'm still with Snowman. No. It really depends on how they judge the person. I don't think the people at Apple know what they done done. It's gonna be yeah. some, it's gonna be rampant running in these streets. But I wonder, like, are they gonna do what we doing or are they gonna be in the same room? They have I think they're there. going to be in the same room, like how uh, Rick Ross and um, 2 Chainz were in the same room. I think they're going to be in the same room and it's just, it's gonna give me 2006 vibes and I need all of them. I'm they, sure. I'm sure they already had a uh, conversation though. They had to have. Yeah. But my to. question is, have they talked to their security and their cousins and everybody else is gonna try to be in the room? That's coming, right? Uh, please wear a mask if you' gonna be in there with. Uh, the be. thing is, every other verse, to me, no, I feel like every other verse has been like a celebration. These next, this is a real competition. This is a competition, and even yeah. if they are on the same page, they're making money, all of that. 
they fans like people really really mm, people yeah. really pick a size and I'm not talking about how we up here talking about it it's people <laughs> really beefing yeah people are it's people like, really beefing about I love, this I love it I love it toxic I thought you were leaving being toxic now. <laughs> but you know it's crazy me now <laughs> This take me back to a time, and I'm excited. This take me back to a certain time Jeezy, in my life. I, Jeezy definitely always made me feel like I was a trapper, but um, I mean, Gucci, he like set the tone. Like, it's so many people that Gucci had to co-sign that's out right now. They not gonna be there. And I wonder if they gonna be able to, like, are they gonna put in all his mixtapes? Cause Gucci got a million mixtapes. It's only 20 songs though, uh, no matter what songs you play, it's still only 20 songs. That's you need to play Lemonade. Like, ooh! Huh? Yes. I just said, ooh! Just oh, think yeah. about Lemonade. I just oh, need oh, the like intro. It. That little operatic song. Oh, right. Oh, 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 oh. Photo shoot. Yeah. True, true. I'm yes. listening. I'm listening to the I, I need time. all of that. I need all of that. I, I still use one of Gucci songs in speech therapy. Bricks. Teach the S down. Final S, baby, let's go. <laughs> let's go. That's crazy. Yeah. These artists can make travel so many <laughs> And it can cross over the well, what? I got my white teeth, my white toss you ready in my hair, baby. It's gonna be dope. I'm ready. But anyway, I don't, I don't <laughs> we ain't gonna stop here because I'm gonna be young. But two chains. Dream a favorite artist. Two chains dropped the album. Did he? He did. Artist. It's hard too. Yeah, I have listened. I have not had a chance to listen, but I do like the visuals. It's hard. Um, the song I, I've heard a few songs, but I love uh, they sampled. I can't go for that. No, no. <laughs> Pretty Tony. No can do. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, future, your boy yeah. Future came out with an uh, album with him and Lil Uzi Vert. Yeah, I love Future. It's been some stuff with Lil Uzi See, and uh, Who is that? Crazy. I feel the same way. I do not. I, I do not like Future. I don't yeah. like him. Because he got so many baby mamas. The way he talk I, about I, women. Like, y'all oh. Y'all that talk. is one person that is toxic. Like, I, is. Just, I do not like him. He really is. But I like him. He motivates us, though. I like it. <laughs> <laughs> I ain't never really, but for real, before the whole thing with women, I never been a fan of his music. What? Mm-mm. Future shifted the culture. No matter whether it was good or bad. I feel bad. like- Because but of Tony like, Montana? Yep, that was the start. Like, I, there's not- Look at the list of artists who came out after Future. Look okay, so you mean he- He's the mumble rapper. I- You call it what you want, but- I think that's my thing. These kids making like, money, man. As far as that? music, like with the future, like I don't know what he's talking about. Like traveling, he's talking about winning, he's talking about living fancy. Uh, like <laughs> he's like, <laughs> it's like a dream. Uh, what? I don't know. Y'all wouldn't understand. <laughs> dress it up and make it real. But I don't. I don't understand. Yeah. It. Dress it up and make it real. But whenever I was out, like before the whole pre-COVID, like his songs would come on. That's why everybody will go crazy. And I'm like, what is this song? I did not know this song. What is it? What is it? Cool. Oh, I mean, future hard. I mean, he out here, he definitely got fans, so. Big fan base. He definitely has a big fan base, I guess. You know, if you like that sort of thing. Shout out to Russell Wilson. Shout out to Russell Wilson. <laughs> there, there we go. Let's. Let's go ahead and end on a positive note. Why, why have nothing? Listen. Nothing. Exactly. You have nothing. I got plenty. But listen, Future, look, Future put out this album with Lil Uzi Vert. Lil Uzi Vert been having issues with one of the city girls. What's going on? JT. Are they beefing or something? They're sneaking and creeping. Oh. They got toxic love. It's it looks like they are, but it looks like he be posting it. Now, you already know that JT's whole fan base is about... City Girl. F, F, City Girl, City Girl lyrics. Let's you go ahead and out. cash out. That don't be real. The girl had a whole boyfriend and a baby. Well, that's obvious. But you know, once she got out of jail, she dropped him and boom, we out here in these streets. Only one of JT. 
<laughs> That's just but you have the nerve to post a private photo of her. Why would you do that, little Uzi? First of all, she probably ashamed of him just a little bit because he's short, and he is really short. Uzi getting money though. Uzi he is getting money. Yeah, Uzi <laughs> one of the biggest artists in the world. Though. So I like him because, like, he to me exemplifies black boy joy. I just like to see black men having fun. You, he always having a good time. I don't like that type of terminology. Why? Joy, joy. That just. What's that, wrong that, with that, Barry? That don't fit well with me. First of all, I'm a grown man. Black man, joy. I still don't like it. <laughs> <laughs> I want you to be happy. I want you to be joyful. I, I want you to be out here. I know. I'm, 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 I'm one person to want to be. <laughs> But why don't you like that terminology? It, it, it don't sound, what would you prefer me to say? I don't know, but it does not define like me having a good time. I just feel it's too flamboyant or something. Sorry, I know. <laughs> <laughs> it's too black boy joy. <laughs> no. <laughs> First of all, that was a good snap. <laughs> <I know. laughs> that was a good snap. I don't even know if I can. <laughs> no, that I wasn't even allowed. I know, I don't like that. I think Chance the Rapper started that book. Oh, oh I love sorry. Chance the Rapper, though. Mario like Chance. I like Chance, too. I don't, his music ain't the best, but the whole body of work, I think it all makes sense. Yeah, anything that came after Coloring Book, the the album that came after Coloring Book, it was a letdown. Yeah, um, but he a full body of work. It's just not his music that's attractive. It's everything that comes with the chance. Yeah, the community. I work. do like him. Gotcha. Speaking of people um, supporting the community, Beyonce and his Peloton collaboration. What's that? Y'all tell me about it. <laughs> okay, so I am a Peloton. I'm a Pelotonian. I own the Peloton Cycle, the first edition, not the second edition. They already got enough money out of me with the first bike. Oh, that's the bike. Yes. Mm -hmm. And so um, prior to this week, her music was not being able to be used on the platform. And there was a surprise class on Monday with two of the African-American instructors. And it was a surprise Beyonce collaboration. And not just her music on the platform, she also selected 10 HBCUs and all the students at that HBCU will be able to utilize the Peloton platform, which includes cycling classes, running classes, strength classes, yoga and meditation. I mean, just the whole thing. Um, all those universities, I think, will also be gifted bikes to like go in their rec centers. And I'm just really excited about it. And me and Peloton also announced an HBCU initiative. So you definitely know I'm all about that. That's dope. That is super dope. Yeah, it is. That was super dope. Um, not to jump off Beyonce, but I, you know, I love Beyonce. But somebody who got the marketing like thing down packed, Travis Scott. PlayStation. He does. Donald, um, Nike, Jordan. He got the marketing down pat. And he I like does. It. I actually like the shoes and the like the creative change they even turn the Nike sign the other way around. Travis Scott hard. I like Travis Scott. I know y'all don't like the, you know, better hat. <clears throat> they ain't together. Still cashing out with her now. Got uh -huh. the baby. I do like I was about to say, you don't think Chris Jenner sprinkled in there somewhere with all them moves? He hit the Collaboration. Lit. She working in magic. I mean, I ain't mad at him. I'm I'm happy that he's getting that money. But I definitely that screams Chris Jenner got something to do with that. Yeah. He got a lot of good connections though. You know what like he he um he in good rooms. To say the least. I love Travis. I like Travis. But my music fans, you know, I love music. Um St. John, dropping Friday. It's gonna be hard. Y'all don't even know who that is. Drina knows she's been over here sitting yeah. with me. Mm -hmm. Thank you, Johnny. Thank you, Right in there. It's gonna hit hard. Mm -hmm. Sound of Rock Nation. Management. Oh, another thing. Our girl got, she tested positive for COVID. And one knows. <laughs> Erica Badu. Erica Badu. <laughs> she tested positive. Elon Musk did the same thing. Tested positive, one knows. Man. 
They touch the back of your brain. I don't know how. It's not the same. I'm not with you today. It's crazy. So. You haven't been tested at all? Cool. I feel fine. I mean, I'm just not, well, I mean, that's a miracle that you haven't been any, around anybody that has had any type of scare because I've been around two yeah, different yeah. individuals. He been in quarantine. I've been in quarantine. Oh, okay, but you just didn't go get tested. I didn't have symptoms, so my job didn't make me get tested. Oh, okay. Good. I got tested, but I'm not excited about the vaccine. I will tell you that. I'm not taking it. I am. I'm not either, um, but I'm I've had to be tested twice, so I... I never had a flu shot. Now, I got one that year, those years that my sister, my sister had her babies because she was just like, you can't hold my baby unless you get a flu shot. But other than that, I don't get them. Mm -hmm. I never had a flu shot. Yeah, where I work, they um, started, they were just, um, they wanted us to have it, and then it came to the point where if you didn't take it, you had to wear a mask everywhere. So I'm wearing a mask everywhere now, so. Mm -hmm. I don't mind wearing my mask though. I, I don't mind. I don't mind wearing my mask. It doesn't bother me either, but it it definitely is an issue for some friends. Definitely. Don't so, what are your Thanksgiving plans this week? Eat five thousand calories. Tune in to Drina finds out. <laughs> <laughs> definitely talking about that on Drina finds out. The oh. average Amer the average American eats forty five hundred calories on Thanksgiving Day. And hey, hey, look, I'm an achiever. I'm going 5,000. <laughs> Easy. There are 1,200 calories in one pound. I, I'm I going mean, 5,000. Five Easy. 4,500, but it's, that's not even in a full day. That's like, you know, like a two hour time span. 4,500 calories? Easy. The itis. Mm -hmm. Definitely. You take care. Make sure you have some tongues. You're definitely over 30. You can't do it like you used to. The acid reflux kick in. <laughs> you already know. You already know. What's your well, plan? Well, guys, that is, I am coming to the coast. I we will be with Melody. my family. Do Melody with the huh? I don't know if I'm going to be able to do Melody with the T live. My daddy is like really on this coronavirus. Oh, yeah, true. You need. You need to wear your mask. Don't come down here getting us sick. You need to get tested in enough days that you get your results before you come down here. So we might still be on the Zoom format. Yeah, we got to look out for the elders. You're right. I'm risky. But I go to Eagles every day, so <laughs> there's no point. I have no comment about Eagles. All right, guys, that's all I have. Thanks for having me again. I'll see y'all next Sunday for Melody with a T. We appreciate you coming through the streets with us. No problem. <laughs> with Black Boy Joy. <laughs> <laughs>
I get it, press and play. And uh, all the interviews are really being dope, man. I try to uh, giving everybody roses while they're here. That's my thing, and that's basically why I'm doing sports as well. So I really love, I really love that, man. About you know watching Tim Dream and you, you on Sunday Street. That was a real good show. Uh, Pat just you know got aired on last last night, I believe, two nights ago. I watched that. Man. Everybody interview was dope. Abram was on there. I, I watched everybody, man. So. Shout out to Street Geeks again. Thank you for letting me join the family, man. I'm looking forward for the future. No doubt, man. No doubt. It's, uh, it's time to have y'all. Like, I think Mario's trying to uh, monopolize the game. <laughs> yeah, you know, he's trying, he's trying to corner the market. Yeah, you know, I like it, though. I like it. You know, like, I feel like we're on a network. It's a whole right. network. Yeah. You know, how do y'all feel about, um, you know, about this podcast thing? Like, we went from shooting basketball, you went to dodging tackles and you know now we here we complaining about our ailments and man, and man, man we got man. old yeah <laughs> Uh, I, I mean, I think this whole podcast thing is cool because it really gives people the opportunity to talk about things that you don't normally talk about in everyday conversation. You know, a lot of it is very surface, but when you have a podcast and you're really digging into topics, ideas, and all of that, I think, you know, there's a lot of, there's a huge market out there for that. It's just got their phone and, you know, depending on what video you click on, it could be something negative, but it's, y'all are putting out positive content, so I think that's good. Yeah, it's, we're trying. We're yeah. Trying. Yeah, this, 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 um, in a world with so much, you know, you get the most clicks and most uh, attention for for negativity. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? And not really, it's hard, but it, it's um, it's good to be appreciated for mm -hmm. for doing that because you know it's like when the girl make a, a positive post, but she get on there and got a booty out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know what I mean? I get on there with a. With, 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 a, with a J in my mouth, you know, I get yeah. all the attention in the world. But, right, right. You know, I, I'm glad that people are hanging on to the, the positive stuff. Back to the sports, though. Excited about the sports. You, uh, dream, dream, uh, dream guess. Uh, what? oh, man, that's a lot. You know, uh, we have a lot of people as far as just on the coast alone that I would love. It's it just, it's so many names I can name, though, but. Of course, I you know I'm gonna go home for my my, my neighborhood Mac Movie. Oh yeah. You know, uh, I talk to him from time to time. If I ask him, you know I, I don't want to be like, hey man, we got a podcast, but I'm gonna do it anyway. <laughs> I mean I got that relationship with him now where I can ask him. Uh, definitely got to bring him to the uh, Street Geek Studios so we can have that podcast so he can give us some insight on his life that we might not know. You know, mm -hmm. some things that he can just. Uh, tell us as far as what it took for him to get there. His uh, cause so everybody heard her stories about him. Mm -hmm. I want to give him the opportunity to come on the platform and like, look, this is what I did and this is how it, how it works. Man, mm -hmm. I, I would really love that. And it's just a lot of people. You, you. I mean, y'all have y'all sports journey that. Like I'm all about giving people roses while they're here. Like, mm -hmm. and just. And, and like, I don't bring my dad on here, man, but I, like, like, that's one of, one of the first guests I'm gonna have my dad. He the first person to put a ball in my hands. And then I kind of just give him, cause you know, you just gotta be fortunate when you have the people here. Right, 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 so right, right. I just wanna take advantage of that. Show love, love to the people that I watch play, my, my, my parents. Mm -hmm. and just just enjoy the moment, man. Yeah. Y'all had a, are y'all, have y'all already had the event, the, the sporting event for the youth? Yeah, we did, man. We had a skills challenge, man. Uh, that's the basketball for, for, for the Boys and Girls Club. We kind of have to cap it as far as COVID or pandemic, you know, which is crazy. But we still had over 40 kids come. Man, I just really love watching the kids light up. Uh, Pat was there. Justin was there. Okay, okay. Uh, they they, they worked with me as far as uh, helping the kids and organize things, man. We just trying to, I'm just trying to impact the whole coast from the coast to the state, to the region, and then the whole country. That's mm -hmm. just basically what I, a goal that I would love to do through with the Boys and Girls Club. Mm -hmm. So that's just what I'm trying to use that platform as well, is just impact the youth, the stuff they don't know about. It's, some kids just don't know how to dribble the basketball correctly. Mm -hmm. So I got people that's not that, they're just as smart as me or smarter right. as far as their sport. I'm like, y'all go ahead, man. Let's, let's make sure they know how to do fundamentally things in basketball. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. High school sports. Um, as essential, I think, uh, just made a playoff run in, in football. Yeah. It's, it's good to see. And, and the other view. The other view, uh, they both advanced to the second round, and for a long time, and for especially in football, we've been getting bounced out for the first round in the playoffs. So, I feel 
like a shift is coming. I feel like the athletes are finally, you know, the work that they put in the summer and in the spring is finally, you know, coming to fruition. They finally advancing and beating the Pine Bill. Because Pine Bill been dominating this past two years as far as football. Yeah. We have not passed the first round. I feel like high school sports football is, is getting there. Even in basketball last year with Hackson Central, girls and boys, they made a run to, to the state finals, to the final four. So we've got to get it back to that point when, you know, when we play sports, you know, we made runs and I don't know, like when we played, it was, it was good. this was crazy. 2000, Harrison Central won state. 2001, Biloxi won, and then 02, we won. Go for it, mm-hmm. So it was the coast, it's always been rich for talent. We just yeah. gotta find a way to tap it back into it. Do we, do, are we, I don't think so, but are we too hard on because we played at that level and we just yeah. expect everybody else to be at that level? Definitely. <laughs> <laughs> it's just like this, like, and we, we are hard on him, but I remember watching Tim, he was in the 10th grade when he came over, came over. Sorry. Harris and Central game, he caught it off the rim and dunked. Boom! He was in the 10th grade! So I, when I see a 10th grader not making plays like that, of course I'm gonna be hard on like, him. I, I remember when 10th graders were, were starting and making big plays, right. you know, getting heavily recruited, you know, so. Right. I mean, it's got to come back. Like, it's got to come back. It's got to come back. And, you know, we want to interact with the youth. I'm, I'm doing a lot of it now as so I'm back into it. Bring some of those prominent stars. I know Harris Central has a young man by Carlos Williams. Uh, I reached out to Coach Hardy to see if I could, you know, just talk to him. I don't want anything from him. Just want to see what his mindset is. Bring him to Streakies, you know. I want to do that with all the top players on the coast. Mm. And be interviewing man. you know, really. In your game, I don't want you to make no mistakes that I made or see other great players made when I was playing. Cause I've seen a lot of great guys that, you know, were good. And mm-hmm. I thought he gonna, he definitely gonna make it feel. Mm-hmm. He didn't go. Yeah. So I need to tell you, hey, it's another side to it. Mm-hmm. The ball stop. Yeah. And they get a little taste of super, yeah. superstar. Cause once you're on the street, you baby. Oh, yeah. You like that. You're a star. Yeah, baby. It's proud time. Yeah. Yeah. So I'm looking forward to doing that when, when, when I'm sitting down with the high school boys and girls because, uh, you know, uh, there's some girls and some hoopers too. They mm-hmm. some hoopers that play soccer, track stars. Mm-hmm. We got a lot, I got a lot to cover. I'm looking forward to it, man. Mm-hmm. Football, basketball, soccer, track, volleyball. I'm looking forward to sitting down with them, talking about what's your plan, what if this don't work? Right. You know, cause that, cause that, that we all ran to that. Yeah. You know, it could be an end. I had, I had an injury in junior college where I had multiple division one offers and all that got <laughs> took away because of injury. I, you know, it wasn't my fault, but mm-hmm. I had to be like, okay, how I'm going to prepare if I don't get that scholarship that I, I yeah. dreamed of? Yeah. You know, how I'm going to prepare to finish and get my degree? And those are the type of conversations we need to have with the youth and especially, um, Cause you know it could be a one track. I'm gonna make it to the league. Mm-hmm. That we all had that. We all had. <laughs> leads in the middle. You you just narrow street. You just hit. You're like yeah. Yeah. We going. I'm going to league. Then you find out it's somebody that shoots the jump shot just like you. You find somebody that can defend and mm-hmm. jump like him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So you gotta understand like it's a it's a it's a number game. It's only like one two percent. That's like it's like the lotto. If to get to the professional league, right. like, mm-hmm. college, you get that's something you can obtain. You can reach that. But you gotta understand what the numbers are. I have a, uh, a picture where it's break down a percentage of high school. How many people play high school? How many people play college? How many people actually make it to the professional level? Mm-hmm. Those are questions. That, those are things that the kids they really they really don't yeah. they don't really grasp that. Yeah. They, they really don't understand that. Yeah, it's, it's only about I think three hundred jobs in the NBA. Come on, man. Football has a little bit more. Um, so you really are. He's only fit, it's only fifty two for thirty teams. So I don't want to do the math, but that ain't that. That's, it's darn, like that ain't. That's not a lot of jobs. No, mm-hmm. no. Unless you're trying to, and even on the on not for imagine how many imagine how many kids are graduating college in Texas. Come on, man. You guys, how many kids are graduating in California, in New York, Come on. Florida, Georgia? What, what you think? Uh, you starting as a sophomore. What you think these uh these youngsters lacking? 
Um, I mean, I, I, I don't really know, you know, what they lack, but I, I think with with our generation, it was different because if you was a hooper, that's really all you did was hoop. So I think it's different now because the kids have so much else to get up, so many other things to get into, right. which is not necessarily a bad thing because you don't want to get to the point where your basketball career is ended, whether that be high school, college, and you basically don't know how to do nothing else. You ain't thought about nothing else. You, right. you know, that's dangerous. That was, that was me. I mean, that was kind of me to a certain extent. I was yeah. focused on that and was over I really didn't know what else to get involved with so I think it's good that they're a little more well-rounded but you're gonna have to put that time in, in the gym to, to to really put up consistent numbers or to be a factor on the, on the court no matter who's out there so they just have to put that work in yeah man I, I, I was same subject but off topic I remember when we was in the GRC probably was like 10th grade going to the 11th grade it was one one summer we just came to GRC or something. I mean, it, it, me was the only ones in there. Yeah. And, and we was playing, I think you killed me. Like you <laughs> think he had the top of the key, yeah. couple dribbles, crossover, yeah, and up. had the bike pull up. Like he killed, like he, in the, on the elbow, elbow yeah, pull up. It was like he had that thing. It was so he bad. Had looks. Like, if you wait on the crossover, yeah. he went by. And Tim, truthfully, you know how everybody landed up off the wrong leg? Yeah. At the Kyrie, I promise Tim was the first one to do that. <laughs> you remember that? I do remember, yeah. I remember you asking me about that. <laughs> I never seen that stuff like yeah, that in my yeah. life. That was crazy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. But it just goes to show, man, that you can put all that work in to be good and if you make a misstep or you make a mistake or you get hurt or whatever, then all of that is wiped off the table and don't mean nothing and you have to be able to carry on. And so I think for a lot of the kids that don't make it, quote unquote, it, it, it's a good uh, teachable moment for you because life is like that sometimes. Sometimes it don't work out and you got to be able to reposition yourself, you know. Yeah. Um, so kids and social media, mm -hmm. athletes and social media. I want to talk about the guys that are supposed to be calling themselves prospects, top prospects. Want somebody to be recruiting, but you on Facebook smoking, you on Facebook sagging money. Like, so glad we didn't have social media when uh -huh. I was a kid. Like that just that's it's too much for a kid. I mean, most of these kids. You have to be extra. As a grown man, I have to be mature about how I handle social media. So I can just imagine what these kids. I'm just I'm praying for the kids, man. I don't even know what to tell them. I'm praying for. <laughs> yeah, man. Like, uh, I just they gotta know that you can't self incriminate yourself. You right. Know that. Right. People watching. watching you. Yeah. 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 It's good. We have platforms like this. Stay on them, hopefully they can uh, get, you know, get some positive out of see it but being cool at the same time. Yeah. Listen, listen to some of the things we're saying. Yeah, 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 yeah. So uh, I know you're going to be on the uh, Sunday Street. Basically, taking us home. So, what you got for us today? Uh, well, man, um, you know, I was told y'all want me to come and just put a, a positive spin on the end of the show. And as I'm sitting in the room now, you know, we're surrounded by a lot of uh, young black men that have aspirations, that are reaching for their goals, their dreams, uh, and we all consider ourselves to be bosses to a certain extent, or, or we aspire to be. Uh, and when I think about somebody who's a boss, a boss is someone who is successful, who has what they need, who's flourishing, who's growing. Uh, but I would also like to interject that a boss is someone who is successful but they can achieve success without having to violate their own spirit their own conscience who they are as a person we all come from different backgrounds different beliefs um, but whatever your belief is or whatever your moral standard is I would encourage everybody to uh, make that a serious part of your life as you try to achieve and attain uh, whatever goals that you feel like God has put you here to do because we all truly are our bosses in that way Sunday Street, nephew Courtney, Tim Holmes, Glad to be here. Shabazz McClellan. <laughs>